everyone, welcome back to Epic Health. Today, we're gonna cook beans. Now you're probably asking me, Ken, why do I need to make dry beans if I can just buy the stuff in a can? Well, trust me on this. When you make them from dry, the flavor and the texture is a thousand times better. And dry beans are about one third of the price of canned beans. So save your money for a trip to Mexico and make dry beans. Now today I'm cooking black beans, but the same method applies to almost all other beans. And this method is very similar to cooking chickpeas, but I will have a specific video on chickpeas, so keep your eye out for that. All right, let's get started. Give your beans a quick rinse and pick out any rocks, stems, or floating beans. Okay, so ideally you want these beans to sit on the counter and soak overnight. The reason that we soak them is to reduce the cooking time, reduce the gas producing compounds in the beans, and to help prevent the beans from bursting open when they cook. But I know you're busy, I'm busy, we don't always plan things in advance. So if you don't have time to soak your beans, that's okay. Your beans will still cook. So when the beans are done soaking for whatever amount of time you choose, drain the water and refill the pot to cover the beans in about four centimeters of water. Here's a quick tip. If wherever you live has particularly hard water, add an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda to your beans. But if your water's good, don't add anything else. You don't need salt or vinegar or anything else like that. Just keep it nice and simple. Okay, time to cook these beans. I'm putting the pot on a burner on high heat and bringing the water to a boil. Now that these beans are boiling, I'm turning the heat down to medium low and popping the lid on the pot. Now we just gotta let these boil for about two to three hours, which I know sounds like a long time, but I know you have a Netflix season to finish, so go get that done. Just make sure to check on these, stir them a bit, and make sure they don't stop boiling. To see if the beans are done, all you have to do is take a bean, and if you can squish it between your fingers, it's done. Now just drain the beans, give them a quick rinse, and they're good to go. 